Welcome to the Slightly Biased Podcast. This is Derek reporting live with Vinny. We are live at the scene of the crime. Our hearts have been stolen. And broken. By Sam. And Jamie. They promised me they'd be here. And now they're not. And I'm being rushed to the emergency room. It's very sad. Very, very sad. So, thankfully, we have Pippa. In lieu of flowers, please donate to the Wounded Warriors charity. Thank you. Cool. All oh, right. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, welcome yeah. to the show. Got that out of the way. Great, great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, great, 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 great to have you here uh, live at the uh, the Cambridge uh, studio. Uh, welcome to the program. How are you, Derek? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I just ran five miles two hours ago. Ooh. Gross. I know. It's disgusting. I walked a mile and a half and my feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I've walked two marathons. Give it to me, please. Good. Yeah, you're running. I know uh, yeah. we talked about that last podcast. Yeah, follow me on Strava. What's Strava? It's a run cycling tracking app. Oh, yeah. That makes sense why I wouldn't know like about it. It's what hipsters use. Ne- walk, map my run. No. Oh, yeah. That was the one I used when I ran like a mile. That's people who wear Oakleys. People who use Strava wear Ray-Bans. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So there's the clear. Okay, there's a okay. difference. There there's is, there's definitely there is a difference. difference. Um, so the running's going well. Yeah, yeah. You know, what? five miles is the most ever ever in my entire life, and that was today. Um, what kind of pace are you pushing? I love nine, but I'm usually sitting about nine and a half. It's not bad. Five miles? I did it. My last mile wasn't the best. I was shooting for four, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try five. I'm gonna I'm gonna test the water. Where do you run? Do you just run around the block? I run around the Charles River over there. Oh, cool. By MIT. Oh, nice. That's where all the cool kids go. They're really smart, I guess. Yeah. Physics and shit. Nice. That's good. What are you trying to What are you trying to peak at? Thirteen miles. Wow. Are you Are you gonna do a half? I'd like to do a half this year. I'm gonna try it. So you mean thirteen point one? Really? That? No, I'm done. Nope. Too much. <laughs> Um, that'd be awesome. You should try running too. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, it's nice running outside. It's nice. It's a breezy. You get get some runners high today. Yeah, so high. Yeah, you're so I high. I got Chipotle afterwards. I was so high. Oh, that that I would be. I worth walked it. into the mall just dri- dripping sweat. Oh yeah, because that's where the Chipotle is, right? Yeah. Nice. Next to the Indian food restaurant that I'm not gonna go to. Did you uh, did you buy shop for anything when you went there? Besides food? They do have a TJ Maxx, but not this time, no. Oh, speaking of TJ Maxx. You want to Let's get into this for our Max Nista listeners. Um, the Marshalls near my office closed. Oh, my. Are you okay? Are you quitting your job now? No, no, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But, uh, I mean, I love Marshalls. Who doesn't love Marshalls? Events the one over here in Cambridge, in Somerville? No, is it good? It's orgasmic. I think, th- I think there's one in Medford, too. Orgasmic. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I would sometimes like if I was bored. At, if I was bored and like didn't want to do anything at lunch, I go to Marshalls. I go to Marshalls and buy some shit. Oh, Marshalls is the best. It's a shit show. It's just like a hodgepodge. Yeah, I mean, they just buy like they just buy like shit for cheap, and it's like, yeah, this might sell. If it doesn't, oh well. That's that's the idea. I mean, they do well. I think maybe. I guess they own fucking Home Goods, Bob's, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They own Bob's. Yeah. I think they, they used to. I don't know if they do anymore. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Bob, Bob's Athletics or whatever it is. It's a, yeah, not the, not the furniture store. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. You look like you have something to say. I'm just looking at my notes. I have so much to talk about. Do you? Yeah. Far I off. rode the big boy train this past weekend for the first time since I was like five. The commuter the rail? The Amtrak. Uh, I've, n- I've never ridden the, the Amtrak. Amtrak. Yeah. Commuter rail. That's for bitches. That's a bitches ride, the commuter rail. How was the Amtrak? It's a two-hour delay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into that. That was a lot of fun. So we're sitting at, in the Union Station in New Haven. A lot of fun. A lot oh, of coming fun. back. That was yeah. the delay. Where uh, where does it come out? South Station here. Yeah, yeah. But like when I was sitting in Union Station for those, I guess two hours, wherever it was, there was this one panhandler walking around saying he wanted to get home to his family. Okay. And he's there for two hours. He had no bags, no luggage, and then he just walked out with nothing at the end of the day. So I'm guessing he really wasn't trying to get home. Yeah. Yeah. Who's African American? What does that mean? I'm just letting you know. I'm describing them. What do you look like? He's black. But what else? I don't know. 
Hair? Hmm. Doesn't have a family? Does that help? Is yeah. that descriptive? I don't know. New Haven is a it's a dicey place. It's divided in two. Yeah. It's it's Yale and the rest. It's like uh fucking Yale Yones Yones owns like half the t- more than half the town. It's insane how many buildings they have. Really? I can't get over it. Everywhere you walk is fucking Yale. In the don't they have the University of New Haven or New Haven College or something? Like I that? didn't see it when I was there. Um, Yale probably bought that. Yeah, probably. For your you Gilmore girl fans out there, I saw where Logan lived on the show. Over my head. And apparently in that building, somebody was having a threesome and then the girl jumped out the window and killed herself. That's real life. That's real life or That's Gilmore? real life. That's not Gilmore girls, that's real life. That's uh it's not great. That's what I learned. How did you learn that fact? Just people in New Haven just know those things. They just know it. It's like common knowledge. Someone just told you? Yeah. What a town. Heck of a heck of a place. You know those college secret societies, like Skull and Crossbones or whatever that is? You ever heard of those? Dead Poet Society. Like the like <laughs> the the like they have like secret societies that people join. Yeah. And like, like the, at major universities. Like, they're still fucking around. I couldn't I thought they were just like done. The Dead Poet Society. They you, they have good bu- movie. Yale owns night. There's buildings in New Haven mm-hmm. where these societies are held. Okay. There's no windows. You okay. just walk by these stone buildings. And I'm wondering, what's going on in there? What are they doing? Illuminati type shit? Or are they just like playing like bake sales and shit? Could be. Because it's 2018. They could, don't matter anymore. Could, could be an orgy. I thought of that. <laughs> I thought of that because they do allow females now into the clubs. And then I was wondering, if we really want to know what's going on in there, what we need is a good sex scandal. That's what we need. A Skull and cr- Scott Crossbones sex scandal. That'll really flesh it out. They'll wind the fuck out of it. The Bill, Bill Cosby it. And then we'll know what's going on in there. Yeah. How many of those are around? I, st- I know there's at least three at Yale. Wow. And there's like random fucking buildings. With no windows. Very creepy. Things we would never get into. Yeah, because I didn't go to Ivy League school. I went to UMass. Lowell. Um, yeah. There's no... There's no secret societies there. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I wasn't oh I wasn't invited to one. They don't have them online. Yeah, how do you get into a secret society? You must probably have to get referred, I would imagine. It's probably by a parent or something like that or by your like heritage. I but what do they do? That's George like... George Bush was in one. He was? Yeah. I think senior and junior play in it. They're probably both in it. Hmm. Very interesting. I'd love to know what's going on there. Yeah. I love it. I would it's probably nothing. It's probably stupid shit like networking for life, like careers. Probably. It's probably extremely like. It's like Bohemian Grove type shit. Yeah. Like Bohemian Grove's, uh, I guess, a resort in California where rich people go once a year to talk about the future. Speaking of, of rich people, I, uh, I started Westworld last night. Mm, I'm yeah. deep into season two on that. Yeah. Julie, Julie's into it, so um, I watched episode one of season one last night. Yeah, and uh, so far, I I tried to watch it when it first came out, and I wasn't really into it. And I think I might. You don't want to fuck a robot, Derek. Well, we po- so here's here's the question that that's been posed. Would you? All right, so would you rather your significant other have a relationship with one of those robots? Or have a one night stand with a real, real, real person. Tough, right? It's weird because I've seen most of the show, so I know exactly what's going on. So I, can, I don't want to answer anything right now. I don't want to give anything I say might be a spoiler, so I can't say anything on it. I want you to answer that question. I don't care if it's a spoiler. You can relate how long this relationship got to be. It's, you're in the relationship. Like they're they're in the relationship. I don't know. I feel like a one night stand would be better, because relationship might fuck with their head. Yeah, because the hosts, which are robots on the show, might try to be the perfect kind of person in a relationship, which might fuck with their head. So do the one night stand. Yeah, that was my answer too. But yeah, show's pretty good so far. Yeah, do you uh, know how much it costs to go to Westworld per day? No, it's like forty five thousand dollars a day. Really? Yeah, they, I listened to a podcast on it. They did the math and shit, all that kind of stuff. It's like forty five thousand a day, and you can stay longer than eighteen days in the park. That's like the the rule in Westworld. 
because you might like your your mind might get fucked by it being in that environment for that long. Would you go to Westworld if I could afford that? Yes, yes, that'd be fun. Yeah, there's no consequences. Just do what you want to do. It's crazy. Love it. Yeah. <coughs> nice. Um. But yeah. So. So far, so good. I'm gonna maybe maybe take down season or episode two tonight. We'll see. Oh boy. Ooh. We'll see. I uh, when I first moved in to my new place, I bought some frozen meals just in case I was lazy. Bean cuisines, kid no, cuisines. No, I got this uh, enchil- hungry man. This enchilada thing, enchilada and I had one thing. the other day, and it was not awesome, but it wasn't bad. So I'm gonna have the last one tonight, so I can get them out of my apartment. Nice, 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 nice. What nice. El- what else do you got? This is up. You ha- seem like you have a ton of notes. I have so many fucking notes, Derek. Okay. Uh, I don't actually. You think I have resting bitch face? I was talking to Caroline about this this past week. Because sometimes people look at me and they're just kind of giving me a look, and I feel like I have resting bitch face um, as a man. All right, you're so you're on public transportation. Well, no, it's just in general in life. I feel like I get resting bitch face. Which people are probably just pissed in general. So, just do me a favor. I want you to look down at the floor. And I want you to look up at me like you would look up if you were just on public transportation. You just look indifferent to me. Yeah. I mean, I think I do. I really think I do. See, some people like look friendly. I think I'm friendly, but I think I like here, I'll do it. Yeah, do me. You look just like a little lad. <laughs> young, like, young lad, right? To explore the world. I don't know. I, I you feel think like it's I'm better for a guy to have RBF or a girl to have RBF. I think RBF's hot for a girl. But just it's like let's say employment opportunity wise, if you're like meeting someone for the first time, guy. Yeah, I mean I, I it sucks, but that's the truth. Girls, I mean cuz girls have that mom thing where they feel like they should people feel like they should be inviting, I guess. Where yeah. guys are just like a it's just like I'm here to get fucking people, business done. People always like I mean the thing with women and all that stuff is it's shitty, but there's that stigma that like if a girl isn't super inviting right off the bat, people think they're a bitch, which yeah. I've talked to a couple people about. I'm like that, I mean, it's stupid, but it's a huge like it's a huge issue they have to go overcome. Like guys, are just like you know, yeah. But that's uh, being a guy is pretty great. Being a, yeah, being a white male, no complaints, no complaints here. I do have a complaint. On Yelp, yep. I can't like my own reviews, so it's kind of like a plan being a white male. I'm big on Yelp. Big on liking your own reviews? I want to like everything I do. That's fair. You would do it because you would like it, right? And mm-hmm. I wouldn't post it if I didn't like it. Maybe they should include a feature where it automatically gets one like when you post it because you probably like what you wrote. I'm going to talk. To th- I'm gonna tweet at Yelp now. When did you start this. Yelping? I don't know. March? Have you seen that South Park with the Yelpers? No. Very relevant, very funny. Are they white Yelpers? Everyone in the town thinks they're the biggest. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Everyone thinks this they're one, a yeah. food critic because yeah, they're yeah, Yelpers. I've yeah. I, I never read Yelp, though. Really? Never. That's why I found Mozart movers from Yelp. I found Mozart. And I Yelped for them. I gave them a five out of five. I found, oh, yeah, they asked me to Yelp for them. You got to Yelp for them. You got to do oh, it. They were awesome. That's how I mean. I found them three years, so. Um, Jan's the man. Oh, I think that was the bald guy. No. Which one was he? He has glasses. Oh. He wore the Ranger panties on Saturday. He did really short shorts. <laughs> yeah. They That's were nice. unbelievable. What a man. Yeah, I'm the man. They, yeah, they, uh, they were unbelievable. In and out. Super fast. Super fast. Um, yeah, never Yelp. What about Google reviews? If I Google it, yeah, it'll come up. Yeah. But if I'm like out, I'm like, I just Yelp it. No, that's I'm that's on the, I'm on the town. I mean, I'll be honest. That's where I probably get my reviews. If I, well, what are you yelping for? Right, restaurants? Yeah, mainly at chicken tenders. But yeah, hmm. Just like to have that ability to give them a review. Yeah, I like that too. Actually, speaking of food, um, all right. So, I had this was a couple weeks ago now, but near it was I think it was technically in Chinatown. It was a Korean barbecue place. The best. Chinatown. What's the name of it? Um, How do you not know? Uh, Cluck Crazy for I'll Chicken. Check, check it out on Yelp right now. I think it's Cluck. Crazy for not, Chicken. Not Cuck. Not Cuck. Hold on. Cluck. 
Let's take a look on Cluck. Is it is it Cluck? I don't know. I'm looking around Chinatown. Crazy. The Hen House. Cuddy. Four. What the fuck? Where is Chinatown on the map? Chicken. Northeastern Harbor. Crave. Mad for chicken. Crave. Oh, yeah. There it is. Unbelievable. On Yelp, it has a 3.5 with 473 reviews. Two dollar signs. Place is unbelievable. The best. Honestly, the best. Um... The best like chicken like I've ever had. I can't add it to a wish list. <laughs> Come on, Yelp. I need a wish list here. They let you it do says that? best night. No, best nights Friday, Monday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Good for kids. For everyone who has kids out there. I mean, I would might disagree with that part, but according to Yelp, you know. Um, oh, I can update my Yelp. It says Waltham still. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh my god. Oh, somebody voted for my review on a Yelp or on a Yelp. Somebody said it was the best review. Oh, really? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Talia. Pizza Town 2 in Pennsylvania. I gave it 4 out of 5. Didn't get the chicken tenders. Instead, got a steak salad and a slice of cheese pizza. Enjoyed it and didn't get the runs. Always a pleasure. 5 out of 7. That was my review. Some She rated it funny. Thanks. That means a lot. I always appreciate when fans say I'm doing a great job. Is that what keeps you call? Me, is that keeps what, me from ending it? Is is that is that what they're called if they like like one of your things? Like what? A fan? Sure, I'm a food critic. I'm white in America. I can do whatever I want. I guess so. I'm my third beer. Doing great. Tours light all day. Wow, you're just having a day. Running five miles, silver bullets. I know. I know. I got a lot of shit for drinking silver bullets the other day. From who? Bud Light fans? No, if you drink Bud Light, you can't make fun of silver bullets. Bud Light gives the runs. I I honestly don't like Bud Light. I think it sucks. Coors Coors Light's probably in my light beers. Coors Light's my favorite, followed by Miller. If you're watching an 80s movie, what do you drink for a light beer? Go. 80s movie? So you're watching an 80s, just 80s movie. What would you drink for a light beer? Coors Light, because that's what's probably in my fridge. Okay. But what? I think Yingling Light tastes like the 80s a lot. The, from, the, I, from the can <laughs> to the aroma to when it hits my taste buds, it screams 80s. Are you just like going back a decade? Because you're a 90s guy. Uh, let's get the leg up here. I'm really confused here. You're a 90s guy. So... After my first deployment to Afghanistan, thank you for your service. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I got Netflix DVDs because why not? Yep. It was 2014. It was still a fad. Okay. And I got an 80s movie. I forget which one I got. I got some, something. And I had Yingling Light paired with it. What a great pairing. People this pair- is when you were back stateside. Yeah. Okay. People pair wines with food. I pair beer with movies. I don't know what to tell you. It's just what I did. You should write about this. Maybe I will. Uh, and uh, Yingling Light just spoke to me. It just said, Vinny, swallow me. All right. And I swallowed it. That's a little it graphic. Worked but a little well. It worked well. Hey, question for you. We're going to sidetrack real quick. I don't swallow. How's your novel going? Which one? Oh. There's multiple? I haven't worked on a novel in a while. Uh, well, you're, you're now that I'm not depressed, I don't feel I need to write out my feelings that much. Okay, and I'm pretty feeling pretty good lately. Good, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't go to the gym anymore, but yeah, you run though. I do run from my problems constantly. It's fun. <laughs> what do you listen to when you run? Oof, oof, that's fun. So I'm kind of phasing out of the emo f- stuff right now. I'm going for like. Some '80s music. Speaking of and emo, '90s music, is there gonna be a pop punk night? I've been checking, but I haven't seen anything. It's just not popular enough for them to do it because all these fucking dummies who like to go there listen to EDM shit and like pop crap. Emo. I've been checking. They played the the band plays at another place too in Boston. Middle East, Middle East of Boston, Cambridge. But yeah, my playlist has evolved a lot. Everyone should follow me on Spotify for my playlist. My current playlist is um, Bill Clinton's 5K Extravaganza. It's my current one because Bill Clinton ran a lot. And the picture I have for my playlist is Bill Clinton and Al Gore after a run getting McDonald's. 
And then I have a uh, electric like oh, Spotify crashed. Hold on, hold on, team. And uh, electric light orchestra is on there. Mr. Blue Sky, you know what song, Derek? Mr. Blue Sky. Who who is it? Electric. I'll play it. ELO. Yeah, from the seventies. Yeah, no ELO. I'm gonna play it because no one listens deep anyway. It's really good. Forget like pumped up. I'm gonna jump in the middle of the song though. There, Mr. Blue, Mr. Blues. It's really good. And then I just I mix it. I got some Asia on here. Uh, so I just I get some the killers, Mr. Bryce out of course. He's gonna have that in our playlist. You have. Do you like the bleachers or bleachers? Who is it? I'll play a, a bit. Do you know this song? Oh, here I have an idea. I th- I think I figured out why they don't do emo night anymore. Why? So the people could, who booked it, yeah. that person worked for the Middle East, and now oh. they don't. Oh, well, you know what? It was a good phase, though. They do do it still at some places, just not the Middle East. Which is too bad because Middle East was fantastic. Middle East is a fun place. They do a '90s night. I go, I'd go to a '90s night if they had it. Uh, I would do a '90s night too. But yeah, but the problem with that is it's way more crowded than it would be a pop punk night. Pop punk night wasn't that crowded, so it was, it was just easy to move around. I've been to the Middle East on like a regular night, and it's just jam packed of people. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but I'll be, uh, you know, so we do it. we really need. It really needs to come back. I tweeted at them one day. They didn't respond. Who'd you tweet at? Middle East? Yeah. Middle East downstairs. They probably don't have a very good Twitter. They do tweet, though. They just do their events and shit. But let me just play my latest Pump Up song. It's really fucking good. When this comes on and I'm running, I just push myself to the to the, to the limit. It's, just, it's in the 80s. It's the, the Roxy music. It's so good. So good. You can feel it, it kind of calms you, but it pushes you. Yeah. I ran when I was at work. What day was this? Do you run at work? I was do. That, was, that, was that when you ran? No, I ran today. I was supposed to run at work today, but I just got tied up. I ran at work on, t- on Tuesday. I did three miles. Okay. And uh, I work in a pretty rural area. But I was running. And then I ran through Chelmsford Center. Yeah. They gave me a little pump up. One of the you know little activity area versus uh, a neighborhood. Show off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, show the guns off, the legs off. I do yeah. wear short shorts for a reason. Do you wear, do you wear the grungies? I have these old navy gym shorts. They're not like long, long, but they're kind of short, long. Oh yeah, I've. But like, I don't wear. I go commando now though. You go commando. I fucking I couldn't run it with briefs or boxers. It was too all right. Much. Well, let's talk about that. So let's dig into my let's dig into let, my let, asshole. Let's, yeah, let's dig it. <coughs> so. How do you approach your balls? Like, what's the problem? Isn't the balls right now? The problem's the ass crack. It's huh. it kind of when, you, when you're running and the gym short kind of breathes a little. Yeah, it kind of gets stuck in the crack. Yeah, it gets sucked in. But it's it's worth it. I was dying. With so you should do a lot of running shorts have a liner. The Air Force has liners in theirs, and they're super tight. But I, it, it kind of goes away when I'm running. Once I get into it, I kind of don't notice it. So then you shower. At work? Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't. I just change my clothes. I whip, whip down the pits, just wipe myself down, and just go back to work. <laughs> I bet. Do you know what I bet? I bet it'd probably be great if you just showed, like, you just came back from your run and what you ran in. Some guy does it at work. He, he sweats more than I do when he sits there. Really? Mm-hmm. You have a really casual office. Yeah. I can't wait to work remote more. I might be an SC soon. Yeah, I know I'd you be, told I'd me. Be transitioning to the cloud, selling, selling cloud. That's awesome. Which is way better than what I do now. I hate what I do. Which is not. It's, I I don't like troubleshooting networks. It's not fun. There's too many variables to deal with. Like programming, it's way easier because the system's right there. Yeah. But the networking, it's like you don't deal with the fucking customer and their fucking LAN, their their network on their side, and whatever they messed up. Then you got to deal with your ISP, the yeah. provider, and then your equipment. It's just, it's not, it's not fun. Is it not? I like to be creative. I want to be. I it's not challenging. It's not for me. Got it. One guy I work with, and sit there all day troubleshooting stuff. No, I want. I don't meet customers and go out and do stuff. Yeah, like it's just. 
When uh, when does that all go down? July, S- starting now. B- baby steps now. But we'll see. There you, you go. Know. LinkedIn experience. So did I. <laughs> How was your LinkedIn experience? <laughs> what about uh, IBM? That's how. We're... There's a bunch of startups around here, though. Yeah, there's a sh- yeah, there's a shitload of a lot of biotech stuff coming here too. Would you do biotech? I really don't care what I do, as long as it pays money and I can. You can live. Yeah. Nice. I'm not a breadwinner. I just come home. I just. I'm here for you're, the ki- I'm here for the kids. You're a trophy husband. I'm here for the kids. Are you gonna be a stay at home dad? No, I couldn't do that. That's too much. I c- just want to work remote. Just that. Maybe talk to customers every once in a while. Just. I mean, it sounds like stay at home dad or stay at home parent in general. It's it's really it's really hard on on that parent. People think it's just easy sitting there all day. It's your brain just loses it. You you just like. You gotta challenge your brain to grow and yeah. by socializing with other people, like adults, not just kids all day. If you sit there with the kids all day, you're gonna you go crazy, and then you get frustrated, and your significant other comes home, you take it out on them, causes problems in the marriage, shit like that. That sounds awful. Yeah, stay, the state on parenting model, I feel like it needs to go away. But the problem is daycare is so fucking expensive. Big fan of co-parenting. Yeah, fifty-fifty. Like a lot of the guys I work with, they they can balance that life because it works pretty relaxed where you can go out and take care of your kid shit and come back yeah and i think in general like this new employer they do pto which is paid time off versus the current model where it's like you have sick days vacation days which doesn't make sense anymore because you can do everything telecommuting anyway yeah so it's like you just leave for like an hour you come back just make sure your work's getting done yeah. stay, if you have to stay late or work at home it doesn't matter just get it done yeah makes sense to me and a lot of employer like a lot of tech companies are definitely going that way. I don't know about traditional shit like like factories and stuff where you can't really do that. But yeah, I got a college degree. What do I care? There you go. But this yeah. beer is very good, by the way. Founders, yeah, it's Founders pretty. All Day IPA. Yeah, it's actually pretty. It's pretty mild for an IPA too. I can't do the really really hoppy or the that one with strong IBUs. I can't do it like that. It's not. Yeah, it's very low IBU wise. It's also very low alcohol percentage. Yeah, that's the one. Four point seven drawback. The one I had, I had the main beer, main beer company, uh, Woods and Water one, which is like six point two, but it was, it was really good. Um, yeah, but I like it. It's a good beer. That's from Steve. You don't know the other Steve, not 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 producer Steph. Not producer Steph. Yeah. Is he still a producer? Depends on the one I release the podcast and when it comes out. Producer Steph. Like I said, you're gonna be up late tonight, and I said, can you edit this? And he's like, just call me when you're done, and I'll be able to do it. But it's already ten o'clock, so I'm guessing he's gonna be done. So I'll just do it. Yeah, I don't like sitting on episodes anymore. I don't like them sitting there as a pain in the ass because they get out. Yeah. Um. Wow, we're actually humming along tonight. It's two people. We haven't done two people. We haven't done two like people in a while. Last August. It's been that long. Holy shit! Yeah. The last two person one was uh, totally hundred percent sober. Oh. Do you know what I want to talk about? Voodoo festival. Uh, what? I I, I want to go. I, I kind of want to go. I want to go. I think it's a week lineup. It is, a, it's, but I still want to go. Which to New is Orleans. weird because it's the twentieth anniversary of Voodoo, and so it's like ch- there were Childish more Gambino, things? Gambino, Ch- Childish Gambino. Who's the other one? Do you know who Childish Gambino is? Yeah, Donald. Glo- Mrs. America. Donald Glover. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, third uh, Eye Lando Calrissian. Yeah, but Land- Third Eye Blind is on headlining though, which is weird. I thought they'd be like way up higher on the list. Yeah. Who were the uh, uh, Mumford and Sons? I saw yeah, and which... uh, uh, Arctic Fox. Oh, Arctic Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys. Close enough. Another animal. Arctic Fox is a. Uh, Apparel company, but I don't know. Like I, I want to go. I don't know if Dean wants to go again. Sam's dead to me. Ugh. But wait, he got three listeners. Um. Yeah. I mean, D- Ethan said he would go. I think Dean would go. Okay, I had a blast. It's fun. New Orleans, first off, is not part of the U.S. There's no way. It is its own. It's like its own country. It's its own planet. Yeah. It's a blast. That is a fun I'm glad it's on a weekend, too. That's what yeah. makes it so much easier to go down there for a weekend versus like during the week. Um, how, much was it, how much was the last time a person? Was that like a... It's a thousand bucks for the hotel total. And then the t- airline... Ticket, tickets were bucks six. Yeah, they're two. like a 150 for the tickets. An airline... <laughs> I'm well, never... We, no, we're not going to... We're not doing Spirit. Together. Yeah, we're not doing the school bus. I'm not bus. finding a bus in the sky at 20,000 feet. Well, that's because I... That, that was my fault because... Uh, so... When we originally booked the tickets, we got them. I think in probably right around this time last year. Yeah, maybe maybe July or 
somewhere around there. And I completely forgot. Like I, for some reason I thought that Dean would handle all that stuff. And then I did all that. Well, uh, if we can get Ethan to go and Dean to go, that's four people. So that splits the hotel again. Yeah. But if five people go, let's say Sam wanted to go, they would they probably wouldn't give us a cot in that room. We would have to get either two rooms or a higher priced room. I like that hotel too. I do like that hotel. It was not. It was convenient. The walk back was not that bad. It was convenient, and it was just like. I hope the weather pretty, was nice. Pretty, it was pretty nice. Yeah, I was surprised at how nice it was. Um. Yeah, if we can get four people, I think that'd be ideal. I think Ethan would go. Uh, Do you know what? I was looking at flights too. But we get, you asked he priced out where people know what they're paying. Can we please fly direct? What did we stop last time? Atlanta or some shit or Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale? Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I, wanna, I don't know. We did, couldn't fly direct, but yeah, because I booked it uh, like a week before. <laughs> oh, okay. I booked everything a week before so or two weeks before. Do it ahead of time this time, but should probably get and by July first. We should know who's going, who's not going, and buy tickets. Yeah. Uh, so we fly out. Twenty fifth. Yeah, fly out. Spend a few nights there. Not go to Waffle House again and get robbed. We didn't get robbed. It was cl- that was a nervous walk back. That was get- well. We also should just Ubered. Yeah, our Uber dropping us off there. Didn't know where the fuck he was either. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We walked like through the ghetto, which hindsight was a bad idea. But we hey, we made out alive. Yep. Um but I mean that was amazing. Like you just touch down and I'm just not used to it. Like you just crack open a beer in the street. Oh, it's the, the south is the best. It's like that. Vegas. <sighs> um I got the okay to go too from Caroline. She said I could go. Yeah, I've I've the okay too. Uh, verbal approval. Yeah. Caroline, I want her writing now, please. She li- yeah. she listens to every episode. Does she? Yeah. She wants to know what's going on in my life. <laughs> something they don't tell her, I guess. Yeah, Julia does not listen. I should get her. I should get her to listen. Yeah, All you right, should. let's look at flights. So we got. Uh, if anybody wants to go to Voodoo, let us know. Music festival in New Orleans last weekend of October. All right, let's. A lot of fun. You can get fucking trash there for twenty bucks in Bourbon Street. So we'll fly out. Say we fly out Friday. What do we do Thursday? Last we had Thursday night last time, I think. Yeah, it was kind of a waste of a night. Yeah. I mean, it was fun. So we could probably fly round trip 400 bucks. That's pretty cheap. That's cheap. It's actually, yeah, it's not bad. And I was just reading an article. What's how, the airline you're looking at? JetBlue. Okay. I was reading how um, airline prices are going to go up because jet fuel is so expensive now. It's going to get passed on to us. I mean, naturally, that's how it works. So I, I think that was, I think I booked our tickets for, I want to say 700 total. So it's not that far off. Does Dean has Dean mentioned Voodoo at all? Does he even know about Voodoo right now? Or yeah, I want to say I talked to him a couple weeks ago about it because the lineup still wasn't out at that point. I think there was another band I wanted to see at Voodoo too for that lineup. It wasn't one of the big th- like Mom Fortnite Sons. I I guess. Oh, speaking of, um, remember how we saw Kendrick Lamar? Oh yeah, you saw him the other night, right? I saw him in School IQ. Where was he playing that? Mansfield, the. Uh, you were math Xfinity Center. Yeah, Jesus we, Christ. Yeah, we got a zip car and went down. Oh, jeez. It's fun. Mumford and Sons, Childish Gambino, which he so he he's gonna be this the Does it go it goes I think he'd probably be the Saturday night one. Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck about Arctic Monkeys, to be honest. Are they the no, they're saying chasing cars? No, that's uh S- Snow Patrol. Oh, same thing. I'd love to see that. Uh, modest mouth. Martin Garrix is pretty good. Oh, a perfect. Dude, cir- third eye blinds like four down. Why? A per- so a perfect circle. Oh, Marilyn Manson's pretty cool. A perfect circle is uh, dude. Uh, a perfect circle, I think, is you know Tool. Yeah. I think it's their singers. The problem, the third eye blinds. Probably, I hope they play at night. But I feel like they're gonna be a day show, which sucks. No, I think they're. If you're like first four or five lines, you're probably closer to night. Right? A- I only know one song by Able Nation. Oh, um, do, 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 something like that. Um, but the rest is kind of like, eh. Rainbow, eh. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Don't know what that is. No, nah, it's really it. Lettuce. I feel like I know lettuce. I mean, for 150 bucks, it's kind of worth to see fucking Third Eye Blind. They have to have more people. This is, this is like, I a, feel like this is the same as last year, though. 
Same amount of lines. Hmm. Let's see if we go to line up. Inter- Ooh, interactive line up? Oh, no, I don't want the interactive. Is Mumford and Sons, where are they? Are they like alternative? I They're like the folk kind of shit. Okay. I'll put their number one song on Spotify on. Let's see what it sounds like. I think I, f- I know what it sounds like. Oh, Dessa, oh, I've heard is it. really yes. good. Um, play. Play. You know this song? Yeah. It's Mumford and Sons. It'd be cool to see them live. I, mean, I guess, yeah. They had that, s- that music video a few years ago where they had uh, Ed Helms in the video, Will Sudet. Will Sudeikis, some whatever his name is, some Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. He, they had the video where they reenacted the members as it. It's pretty good. Arctic Monkeys. I don't know. Sh- no. Why? Well, I, I feel like they have almost 14 million monthly listeners on Spotify, so they have to be good. I'd hope. I guess they're having the the killer spot. So the killers were really good. Yeah, I mean, Ch- I'm down. Childish Gambino. Childish you know, probably that then forever. I, would be I bet he plays This Is America, probably his first song he plays or his last. Maybe. Have you heard any of his stuff? This is it's just This Is America. He's pretty talented. He's uh, he's actually absurdly talented. Good for him. Someone's gotta be. We're not. I'm no. I just show up. I just realized your shirt says Boston Red Sox. Oh, I bought us at Marshalls. Bo Sox. Yeah, I bought us at Marshalls. I went to the game the next day. Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't have a shirt, so I bought us at Marshalls for for twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I should probably. No, I'm going to a concert after, so I sh- I'm just gonna wear a shirt. Regular shirt. Saturday's gonna be so. I'm gonna be exhausted. I have drill. Fucking great. Ugh. Love drill. <laughs> Thirty four months. Oh yeah, cause you just resigned. A couple of years ago, but yeah, three four months. What did you resign Ooh. for? Six years of my life. Oh my god! I'll be at tw- I'll be at thirteen years in. They're gonna try to make me feel like just do your twenty, man. Do six more, and I'm gonna be like, no. If you do your twenty, you get you get a pension at sixty five. I don't know how much it is. I just don't feel like I want to do six more years of my life than that. I just don't. It's funny because it's not that big of a commitment, but at the same time, it's when a you're big in the thir- when you're thirties, like I just don't want to do it. Yeah, it wasn't my forties. No, why not? But no, you'd probably look forward to it, having kids and all that stuff. You'd be like, oh, oh thank God, I'm drill. Break, thank God. Yeah, no, I just I uh, remember when I met with that recruiter. Yeah, that was funny. I was like, are you ready to party? <laughs> like I told the guy I was like yeah I'm just getting information like I want to learn about the branches and all that stuff and I go I love this. I really I'm not going to make a decision today I just want to learn so the guy goes through it and then he ends it with now do you have what it takes to become a ring I go I don't know Semper Fi brother I don't know How I, I feel like it'd be a good experience looking on the resume I don't think I don't. I don't know Maybe uh, it doesn't. It's a, it's a big commitment in your life right there. Because you're not a veteran until you deploy. Yeah, technically. Yeah. A real veteran. Yeah. No, not an Ethan veteran who just goes in orders in the, on Cape Cod. I'd probably want to deploy if I went into it. I can't get the full experience. Mm-hmm. It's, an, it's an adventure. Do they have air conditioning <laughs> over there? Yeah, I do. And they say, oh, shit. Did you have your own room? I shared out two other people. But I took like, I t- we had like shelves and we'd line them up, and make like little cu- little walls. Oh, nice! And then I took like, uh, sheets and strung them across, so I made a little sheet to cover myself up. Okay. And then I took, I had a bunk bed with mm-hmm. no one on top, and then I took bed sheets on there and I made a little like fort around it to block out all the light, and that was my jerk off zone. <laughs> was it worth it? The jerking off, yeah. But it was, really ta- it was like a tactical jerk off, though. Tactical. Because I had to do it when they, when they were sleeping. So, yes, I've jerked off two of the guys in the room. I've done this. I had to do it. Nothing wrong I, with that. And then I and then we went to uh, another another spot. And I couldn't jerk off in the room because there was four guys c- in close proximity. Why don't you just tell each other you're going to jerk off? Because at that point, it was really hard to do it in that kind of environment. So, I go to the showers and jerk off in the showers. Are they open showers? 
so there were like older showers and it was like floors of showers and this old wooden hut like hampton beach kind of showers get off of it, get off of it. um and uh yeah i'd have to like nobody i'd, I'd shower in the middle of the day and there's no one there so i take, take my time my freshman year in college they had um shower stalls like with the the, the thing and mm-hmm. i lived in a forced triple so i jerked off in the showers all the time Gotta get done. It's not fun. I like to be relaxed. Like I feel like if I'm standing up, it's more of off, a service at that point. Then just yeah, you're like just get I this. Gotta fucking do over, it. Get it over with. Gotta unload my stress. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. We'll. Uh, I mean, I, I probably probably not gonna do it. I jerk on the shower here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you would do that. It's a joke. Joking. Is this a good jerk off zone? Um. Is this an incriminating question? <laughs> no, I jerk off. Okay, good, good. There you go, internet. I jerk off. More for, you know, your, your SO, but... I'll just edit this part out. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone yeah. jerks off. I don't care what you say. Everyone does it. Oh, yeah. They just don't want to talk about it. I guess it. girls do it differently, though. Girls don't... Well, girls don't use porn. Well, yeah. I guess. Guys I'm use getting- porn. I can already feel the text messages coming. I can already feel them coming in. But we're talking about this. Yeah. The future text messages. I think I could just walk to the orange line from here. It's up to you. How dangerous do you think it would be? I don't think it's that dangerous. You know, you just wearing gym clothes. I'm not even going to mug you. Yeah. I might just do that then. I don't know. Or Uber if it's, what is it? So it's like, what, 275 for the T? 250 I have a Charlie card, so it's uh, monthly. Okay, I don't know. So I'm trying to use it as much as possible. I actually really like. I just take that the North Station if you want. Yeah, I might do that. The fucking T is great. Yeah, so easy. But um, hey, we're getting to 45 minutes. Oh fucking and shit! Since you know, tight 45. People said they were well, going to be wait here. Wait on Sam still, so he might show up soon. So for for reference, everyone, we had this scheduled for 8:30. PM Eastern Standard Time, or is it Eastern Daylight? T- wait, which one is it right now? Whatever you want. This okay. is America. Okay, and uh, you know it's okay if we're if we're like fifteen twenty minutes late. I think that's kind of standard. Half hour late maybe. Um, but the people we had who broke our hearts by not showing up told us at what nine that they were gonna be late slash they might not make it. Yeah. Fun times. So we started late. So it's 10 o'clock now, and uh, I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock now, right? Yeah, it's 10 p.m. I got to edit this and release it. Yeah, I want to wanna get tired. I want to go to bed. I'm tired. So, all right. Yeah, happy hey, that, that was a good episode. I think this was actually a good episode. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, weird. we'll be back next week. Take us out, Ethan. Bye. <laughs>